Iran has got a reformist president as low-profile moderate Masood Pesashkia has won the country's runoff pres presidential vote, defeating ultra-conservative Saeed Jalili by over 3 million votes. According to Iran's Interior Ministry, Pesashkia secured over 16 million ballots while Jalili got more than 13 million votes. Iran has over 61 million eligible voters, but around 30 million ballots were cast in the runoff elections and voter turnout stood at around 49.8%. From the total votes of all polling stations inside and outside the country, the number of votes cast is 30.5 million, out of which Mr. Masood Pazeshkian got 16.3 million votes and Mr. Saeed Jalili got 13.5 million votes. And according to this, Mr. Masood Pazeshkian is introduced as the elected president in the 14th presidential election of the Islamic Republic of Iran. After his victory, Iran president-elect has said that he will extend hand of friendship to everyone. He also said, and I'm quoting him here, we are all people of this country. We should use everyone for the progress of the country, unquote. 69-year-old Pesishkia is a former heart surgeon who has been pushing for change in the country without radically challenging the system run by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. During his election campaign to replace the late President Abraham Raisi, Pesishkia aligned himself with other moderate and reformist figures and promised an end to Iran's isolation from the world, calling for the renewal of 2015 nuclear deal. In 2011, Pesishkia registered to run off president but withdrew his candidacy. In 2021, he found himself and other prominent contestants barred from running by the authorities, allowing an easy win for Raisi. Pesishkia entered politics first as Iran's deputy health minister and later as the health minister under the administration of reformist president Mohammad Khatami. In 2006, Pesishkia was elected as a lawmaker representing Tabriz. He later served as a deputy parliament speaker. However, the next president is not expected to usher in any major policy shift on Iran's nuclear program or support for militia groups across West Asia. Since Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei calls all the shots on top state matters, however, the president can perhaps influence the tone of Iran's domestic and foreign policy. Insiders say Khamenei is keen on a loyal and compliant president who can ensure a smooth eventual succession to his successor. Well, to get us more insights into a reformist leader, Masood Pesishkia, who is now Iran's president after 20 long years, we were earlier joined by Abbas Aslani, who is a senior research fellow at the Center for Middle East Strategic Studies and also a journalist. This is what he had to say on whether there will be any shift in the working ties with Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Take a look. that this has been after you know since the 2005 this is the first time that the country is seeing a reformist president and this is quite significant because at this level of turnout it is mostly expected that we could have a conservative president but i think this is quite a new norm that uh, we have a, a reformist you know candidate winning the election at this you know, turnout, which is quite 50 percent. Uh, Pesishkian has had promises uh, specifically on foreign policy, meaning engagement with the global countries, uh, as well as trying to negotiate with the Western states in order to lift the sanctions. And uh, he, he but in the meantime, you know, these are the decisions not only made by the president, uh, you know, merely, but also in a framework that it comprises of the Supreme National Security Council, other institutions, as well as uh, it is, you know, with the uh, and the leader. Uh, he in the political campaign said that, you know, he, he was critical of the policies of the system. However, he said that he will be acting 
within the framework envisioned by the leaders. So uh, uh, he also, uh, uh, you know, uh, so far he has uh, stressed unity among different factions in the country, uh, saying that the foreign policy begins at home. But this doesn't mean that there will be no rivalry between reformists and conservatives uh, in future. As customary, it is expected to happen. And this could make it a bit uh, difficult for him to you know, govern the government. Uh, however, uh, I think he will try to reach out to different factions in order to pave the way for further cooperation in order to resolve uh, issues at home, including the you know, economic uh, difficulties in relation to the uh, daily lives of the people. And in order to engage further with regional countries as well as those beyond the region.